Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Star Lore's adventure in Star Maid. Woo! -hoo. Hello, hello. What's happening? What's happening? So, if you're watching this, that means you watched the little intro sequence I created. And yeah, that's what I did. So here we're going to actually go and show you everything we're going to do in that intro sequence. And this is where I created room for the door that I want to create here that's going to open and close this way. And then it's going to open up into our power room, which will be in here. So let's zoom into our character, turn our HUD on, and let's get to business. So I'm going to just hop up here. I kind of did a little bit of placing of some stone. So that way we could kind of hide things. I'm going to check my navigation for pirates. I don't see any pirates. Let's let's mine this stuff here. Oh man, I've had a busy week. I've had very little time to edit, as obviously you can tell if you saw that there was the the Seven Days to Die videos. I still need to recreate the rest of these guys, and I think these containers have all of my crap in it, plus the factories that I got scared of and. Yeah, uh, capsule refinery, micro assembler, advanced factory, standard factory. I think I'm missing the basic factory because it broke when I panicked. And we need to place basically that unit. So how do we craft a basic factory? Well, <clears throat> I think we just need one, uh, 10 alloyed metal mesh and 10 crystal composite. So let's do that. 10 of these. And then 10 of, where's the other guys? Oh, look at that. Ha ha ha. We can put our, our ship core, our emergency ship core, and our logbook, which, I don't know, maybe one day I'll type in it. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so let's, yeah, I need to place a factory. So let's just place this stuff here. I need to build blocks. So I don't think I have enough blocks. So let's go into the build mode over here. I have to move this build block here. Okay, let's go over here. I want to place this stuff. Maybe we'll just place it inside here for now, temporarily. Oh crap, I did the right click thing. Ha ah, ha, because I'm used to it being the other way around. Uh, so let's, ah, uh, shoot. Okay, uh, inventory. There's gray hulls. Here we go. Let's place this stuff again. Uh, pick two, left click, left click. Okay, right click to remove, left click to place. Because I changed it back to something that makes sense. Place a control block without having a controller selected. Oh yeah, there's no power as well. So we need to place some power blocks. And uh, We did have that power room, but let's just place this stuff here. And f oh, for right now, temporarily. Let's create a power block. Just like so. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to clutter this area up, but oh well. Doesn't matter. Um, let's put these guys here. I guess it doesn't matter. So that should give us power to operate this guy. And what we should also do is place our refinery. Uh, that was, I think, inside here. Uh, micro assembler capsule refinery. I think that's what we'll place as well. Oh, no, wait, I do have a wait. What? See, so it gave me the basic factory. I thought it wasn't here for a second. Weird. Oh, well, we could always use more. Uh, basic, and then I think we need a standard factory as well. And we'll put that right here for now. So is this a standard one too, or what? Uh, basic factory. And then this is the standard one, right? Standard factory, yeah, okay, cool, cool. So I need to create parts for what we're gonna do. So if I deactivate production, let's go change production. I think I need to build, I need to build like these, mesh wedges, I need to build maybe just the regular gray hull pieces. Uh, how many do I have of those hull pieces? Let's take a look. 
Uh, should be a bunch in here. I don't really have very many of those actually. So let's build some hall pieces. So if we go here, here, uh, D, E, F, G, gray hull, and we'll build this guy, and we'll activate the production, and then we'll go into connection mode, connect it with there, and that should produce, uh, I think I need the crystal composite. Yeah, I think that's what I need. So the crystal composite. And then I think that will allow it to function. Okay, perfect. So that's, that's going to make the gray hull. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the materials that I need. And then I will be right back. So yeah, so for the YouTube land, it'll be instant. Okay, we're back. And I'm still working on stuff. I didn't realize that these yellow hulls actually take a long time uh, because you need to you create this yellow paint and then it uses a lot of paint to make a, a yellow hull with this stuff so I'm still in the process of making kind of the designs or the the blocks that I need for the door um, <laughs> I'm hoping I can kind of do all that stuff on camera but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another set of two for our display of two more asteroids so let's do that right away here definitely have to thank you Jace machine for giving me a little shout out there on his channel you know definitely check his channel out you check out how how he makes his videos and all that other fun stuff and let's remove this stuff so right click have it all set to lighten right now uh, oh I don't want the light I want the uh, four I think and I think I want to get rid of the remove mode okay left click oh that's not the right color is it I think that's Dolom I'm using this is the rock that I want to use okay so I need to get rid of these blocks here and a set of these blocks because this is where that display is going to be. But I think it's one, two, three, and this is the top. So this should be solid. Let's kind of put these blocks like this, cover that hole up. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we can carry this on like so. Let's get rid of this block. Ah. Sometimes I, I go crazy with the clicking. Okay, and let's take these blocks, and then I think I can take these blocks too. This one, this one, and that one, I think. Uh, let's see here, there's stupid ships in my way. Okay, I think that will do it. Let's place some more of these gray hulls here. Bang, 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 and wait no wait one two three and then we got these guys these are actually this should be all stone down here okay and then we put in stone because this doesn't matter this level now we can put in the gray hulls two three and that's the top of the frame Got to put a light in there somewhere. I also created the displays that we can mess with. Uh, let's see here. Okay, and then I think I can put it in the middle here as well. And then here we go, here we go. And now I can put in uh, more storage since we need that. One there, one there. You place a controllable block without having controller selected. That's interesting. Okay, so now I need to refer to my fancy dancy notebook here. I need to check kind of what. Uh, so we did the uh, Yveris, Cinnabar, Lucra, and uh, Sujil. So green, red, brown, purple. So this is ice and stone. So this would be Dolom. Should I do from left to right or just from this way and that way around to that? Maybe, yeah. As you come in. Now this is the first one we mined, the second one, the third, the fourth, 
And the fifth was Dolom that I mined, because I kind of wrote these down in order. So let's do this one, Dolom. So this is a mix of two, actually. And it looks like kind of like a comet almost. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a couple blocks of Dolom. So let's go one, two. And I might have to actually place it in behind like this. And I'll show you why in a second here. Well, you probably already have figured out why, but I will show you. <laughs> so like that, so maybe, maybe like that. So I didn't need to do that. Okay, let's go back to the dolom, left click. Okay, now let's put some ice in. Now watch, this will be, I, I, or at least I think this is gonna be cool. Let's place, see, you can see behind the ice. That's almost like glass, and there you go. So that's kind of what Dolom looks like. It's kind of covered in ice and a little bit of that stuff. And here we're going to put the carved Dolom. I don't think you can carve ice, so we definitely can't do anything about that. Oh, and I made too many thrustery modules, but that's okay. We can always use them for other ships. Okay, so let's change production here to, I think there's carved Dolom in here. I think I passed it. Yeah, carved dolomes. Let's make a few of these blocks. I need at least uh, uh, three, six, nine. Nine of them. Man, this game is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure how long this episode's going to be. Um, you're obviously watching it, and I appreciate you watching it. You know, for taking the time out of your busy day to watch my stuff. You know, <laughs> as uninteresting it may be. You know, hopefully you learn a few things in these episodes. I know I'm. Be learning a lot about the game and I just find it's just hard to play the game it's hard to play because of my family life you know I hate to go on a rant about that but it's kind of what is stopping me from playing this game a lot more than what I have been already um, yeah it's just you know, having to go to work and then after work you're done work and you know you don't really want to do anything you want to relax you got to spend time with the family we have a little one and let's deactivate production. Let's change it back to the yellow hulls. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, so it's it's been actually quite interesting your know, time having to deal with all that stuff, to juggle stuff as a family. And so yes, yeah, so let's let's place this carved dolom here. Five, and basically just the left click. Oh, this is cool. This looks like concrete. Ooh, look at that. Look at that texture on that block. That's kind of neat. Let's see what it looks like without the the lights. Cool, 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 cool. That is so cool. I might have to use that dolom somewhere. That's kind of neat texture. I might use it in the middle here, actually. That carved dolom. I think that would look pretty cool with the with the other blocks and everything else together. It kind of has that cool look to it. Uh, let's see here. What do I want? What do I want? I want. Oh yeah, lights. So I have a light in the middle, in between the two. Oh, I got myself turned around. That's hilarious. So I need a light right in here. So let's do that, a white light there. I need a couple more lights on the edges. So I need a light here, uh, here, and here. Ah, now you can see the ice. It's not as clear now with the lights in there. That is interesting. Hmm. I have to create something where you can turn off the lights or something. I don't know. That's too bad. I like to see the the rock in behind the ice. Oh well, that's pretty cool. That's what Dolom is. Um, okay, so we got the lights there. I'm just trying to kind of match up everything. So what I need to do is put the rock in up top here, so it kind of matches. Okay. I do have to carve up a bit more. Maybe, maybe I can kind of right click this stuff away. Let's see here, let's see what it looks like. Um, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't look the same, does it? So we'll have to figure something different for this side. Maybe because we don't have as much space as the other side. Um, 
because see if you count 9 10 11 so I counted for this secondary outer frame which would be this part here is the secondary outer frame yeah I think it's fine I think it's fine like this I think it looks pretty cool and once we add in the carved cinnabar on the sides here and carry on and create the next display and diorama on this side then yeah then that will be that so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let the blocks make and I'm going to you create the next one here which was what is it uh, Shabazz which was an orange kind of asteroid and then we'll go from there so yeah so I'll be right back once I got that done and when I have the blocks we'll go kind of work on the power room there so we can move this power down there so yeah I'll see you in a bit okay everybody we're back in the final stretch here <clears throat> so this is the interesting part this is where we're gonna build our door that's gonna close <clears throat> let's see here this door will go this way into I think I have to get rid of this let's lighten this up so we can see what we're doing so I think I have to get rid of th th these blocks let's replace these ones so what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a door uh, let's see how many blocks one two three four five six so six you have to go at least six blocks back this way I guess so let's take these out one two three four five six okay well, let's just take that out who cares okay so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put the rail docker in here or not rail docker I'm gonna put the rails in here uh, I think just like that okay uh, let's look at my inventory here 22 rail basic three control We'll have to put logic in as well for this. Basically, I'm just going to put this. Um, let's see. Left click to place. Six. Okay. So what's going to happen is basically. Let's put the real docker on. So there we have a ship core that we need. Do that. And then we need the rail docker for that. Yeah. I wanted to show more with the power plants and everything but unfortunately yeah I think we're just gonna build the wall and then in the next uh, session or the door the the power room door or the the power center door whatever you want to call it I'm gonna try to make it look like some big blast doors that close or open and inside here where all this is here we're gonna have I don't know, a set of three on each side um, of, of power units which are kind of encased but you can see through it and then uh, as you enter here you know, those will kind of be you opening down as you go in so I think it's going to be kind of cool uh, but let's continue with this part here because I'm not sure how long this video is going for but yeah so let's hop out because I think we need to be in our person so let's run all the way there Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see about these si these silly things here. If we can kind of filter them so that way they don't all show. So, for example, this thing like I want to hide this. Uh, filter ship asteroid planet core. Yeah, see, it looks like you can't. You have to turn that off, and then you won't see any of your other ships. Oh, well, there'll, there'll be a way. It's still alpha. You know, they'll hide these ones here, which aren't important. Because they're, <clears throat> you know, they're there. They're, they're hidden. They're not really, you know, like if these are going to be doors and all that stuff, then yeah. Okay, so I can't see where shit in here. So let's put a lights. Uh, let's see. Okay, I need to put, I can't see in there, well, that's fine, we have the rail here, so let's do the ship core here, 
Let's left. Um, oh yeah, X. This would be power room door one. Power room door one. Okay, might as well call the core that. Okay, now. Well, what is the front of the ship? So that's the front of the ship, hey? Uh, how do we want the door to be on here? So if I have the docker... I'm just thinking here, I, I want the dock to be on the bottom, but... Um, how on the bottom? I want it to be facing towards the front, just like that. I think that's what we'll do. And so we'll left click that on there, and then we'll go back into our f flight mode. We'll move over here. Let's go T. Let's go rail docker. Let's go over here. Uh, no thrust. That's okay. That's okay. And we pick it, and we left click. Ah, that's perfect. That's exactly how I want it. Excellent. So now what we need to do is build it. And for that, we need blocks. And of course, I don't have my blocks with me. So let's go and grab the blocks. Let's run down our cool little hallway here. The factory system is going to be up in here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I got them here for now. Um, yeah, okay, got enough gray hulls. Probably need more of those. Let's deactivate production on that. Whew, it's been a long haul, guys. I, I appreciate all of you for watching this episode. Uh, I know it's been fun you making this. Yeah, let's just place these blocks and we'll worry about the stuff after. So let's hop in. Let's go space bar to go into build mode. Okay, and now let's place some of these blocks. So I'm going to place them like this I think we'll see how this looks and then if we have to change it we can always change it uh, let's see here I want yeah okay good we go five we need these blocks left click left click oh this is going to be so cool actually left click okay so that's like that and let's let's uh, get rid of these guys since we don't need that like that and we just need to cover how am I going to select those rails can I still select them like this by flying through here let's see if we go into oh it's not lightning that's interesting I'm just thinking about that. I'll figure that out. That's fine. Uh, there, there has to be a way of doing it. I'll dig if I have to and do it that way. So yes, let's just continue placing these. Uh, and there you go. There's our door. I might change the material that's on there. Because I don't know if I like that material. But it does do the trick. Should I add more of those hazard blocks? Nah, that'll be fine. So that's going to be that part of it. So now we need to set up the logic. So where are we going to set it up? We're going to set it up quick and dirty, I think. I think is what's going to happen. So what we need is we need buttons. Uh, six. I think, there's, I think we're just going to put the logic here. Um... Okay, I think we have to get out of the ship. Okay, perfect. Since that's done, let's... I want to be in the build mode, so we need to go all the way back to the core. So I'll see you at the core. Or at the... Uh, I'll see you back over here in the the build uh, the mode of the, the planet here. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these blocks for now. 
<clears throat> yeah, I think we'll just do that. We just need to see the one block there. So we're going to have two buttons here. We're going to have a button for <clears throat> the one set of blocks and then the, uh, another button for the other set of blocks. So what does that mean? So if I go back to these ones, let's... Okay, so that's how it should be, but we need them going the other way so we can open the door. And so we will click that there. And then we need to place the logic blocks, right? Which would be the flip-flop and the not gate. So the flip-flop will basically be your switch and the not signal. Uh, basically, I think as soon as the signal goes to it, it, it turns on or off. Um, so, for example, if we place flip-flop right here oh I don't want to do that crap I I still get them confused because I switched it back to the way it should be there we go no that's the wrong block that one okay so now we can try this again so we got the logic one here and then we got the knot let's put it right beside it okay and then we just need a button to trigger the doors on and off, which would be, doesn't matter which one it is, let's just do this one so that we, we can see the logic. Okay, and then what we need to do is this button must be selected to the, the entire row. And I learned recently Shift and V, I think, sh should select the entire yeah, should s select the entire set of rails that are connected, which is beautiful. I don't know if I have enough, actually. One, one, two, three, four, five. Might have to make more rails, but we'll see about that. So now, this will be connected to the flip-flop. Oops, sorry. This will be connected to the flip-flop. And then if we get off that mode, if you connect the flip-flop, to this I think <coughs> V right and then the flip-flop we connect to the knot gate and then the knot gate we connect to the other one here and what is that going to do well when I trigger this this will turn on it'll send a signal there and I think it'll pulse and it'll reverse these boom and make them go that way then, if I send another signal here, this will trigger, that will turn off, and then this will turn on because that's, yeah, because that's just the way it is. When this turns on, this will be triggered. When this turns off, that will be triggered. Pretty straightforward, which is kind of cool. And, yeah, and let me replace the blocks here, and we'll go from there. So, let's put these blocks all back the way we found it just like that yeah okay just like that and we're gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna hop out here and I'll meet you back here in my body okay here we are here we are I have the lights in behind the door there so that's why you can see through which is kind of funny actually that it bleeds through you figure it wouldn't, but whatever. So we're going to activate this to see what happens. So it triggers the door to be closed, which is the way it is. It's, it's, this is the original state. Now we're going to trigger the door to open. Huh. It is not working. Oh, you know what? I know. I know why, I know why. This has not been, let's see if I can, yeah, this has not been connected. So if I go shift V, now if we replace those, left click left, cannot, blocked why why is this vibrating huh, huh. let's go into this block
Why is it not connected? Okay. I hop on. Now it's connected? <laughs> oh man. So insane. Let's get out. Okay, now it should be connected, I hope. Let's put these blocks ba uh, back. Actually, no, I don't want these there. I'll take these off. Okay, so this should open up properly again. Let's try this again. What the hell is going on with this? I don't know why it's doing that to me. Okay, I'll be back when I have it working. I'll figure this out. Ha ha ha. I figured it out. Watch. These aren't connected. <laughs> So now, now when I trigger the button, what the fuck? It's like it's not connected, but maybe it's because I screwed it up. Let's see here. Uh, is it? If I go C, what Shift V? Should be doing the whole row, no? the hell or shift C C V weird okay so now Is it facing? It is, but this is not connected, so why not? Um, let's hop back into this. Pick nine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. This is bad. Oh, this is so bad. This structure doesn't fit. That is insane. Oh man, let's undo this. Shit, it just flung me. Oh man, that's rough. Okay, let's see if we can inch. Uh, come on, come on. Go, 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 ah! Oh man, where are we? Okay, let's, come on, come on. Let's do this. Go, go, go. Oh, I should have put a thruster on this ship core. It sucks. Stupid how you have to do the ship core stuff. Ah, okay, this is retarded. Let's hop out. Ah, uh, so frustrating. Take that piece and go, okay. Okay, let's go back over here. Maybe we need to test the ship core, go moving back and forth before we build. Let's see here. Okay, well that is going the wrong direction. Let's see here. Okay, something's really wonky here. So I got this button selected, so I need to go shift. So the shift V is not working for some reason. Maybe I have to be in the build structure to do that. Okay, if I just select this, those should all be selected. Okay. If I do that, and then if I do that, it should be facing. Okay, so now they're working. Maybe I just, I'm just derping all over in this one. Okay, so let's let's build this guy again. X, X, oh X, uh, um, power door one. Okay, okay. 
space we need to put the rail docker on uh, the front of the ship okay let's move the rail docker to that position okay let's hop in let's go T add this on to that and we should be able to dock it on come on this is so stupid come on Fuck. there we go okay so now if we hop out okay it should slide along this if not we got a problem so let's check this out so what's going on this used to work before now it's not attached but yet it should be and it should move along I just have to turn this around but I thought that didn't matter I thought as long as these got moved along like there should be plenty space it should be able to slide oh man I'll be right back with it working <laughs> Then I'll explain why or where I'm screwing up. Okay, I did some troubleshooting and I know exactly what it was. Basically on my rails, I had another rail you cut into the rock and it was blocked. So what I mean by that is I'll place these rails. Let's see here. Let's go into the build block. I'll actually fly them behind here. So basically this last block here that was, was back here was covered. Um, I had stone all the way through here, and so what was happening is it was detecting when we were pushing the button to make it go back this way, it was detecting that the end of it was actually blocked, and for whatever reason it was popping off this thing. Not sure why, or not sure how, but it was, and it was just you know, totally weird. So once I fixed all that, removed it, replaced it, I reconnected this thing, and it worked like a charm. And how does it work? Well, let's check it out. It's freaking amazing. So, yeah. So, this is it. This is going to be what's going to be in the intro here. Woot, woot, woot. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Bang. <laughs> and then inside will be the power room. And that will be in our next episode. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, because I know I've enjoyed making it, and I can't wait to you carry on with the rest of the logic that I want to put into this place with the, with the door opening and all that stuff. So yeah, so thank you everybody, and you all have a great day, and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye bye.